Terry Anderson. Terry Anderson. Terry Anderson, a journalist living in Beirut, was abducted by the Islamic Jihad. They pushed Terry into the back of this green Mercedes and sped off. Anderson was the longest held of more than a dozen Western hostages in Lebanon. After nearly seven years in captivity in Beirut. He was a reporter who became part of the story he covered. I spent a year and a half in solitary altogether. It was the most difficult experience in my life. I almost went insane. Being held hostage and not being able to talk, I discovered that I need people. Because, you know, we didn't know if we were going to live. 1985 to 1991. I and others spent those years in damp, dirty basements and small cells. I find it difficult to keep my hopes and my courage high. And the last American to be freed, Anderson arrived to a joyous welcome. Terry Anderson's exit marks the end of the American hostage ordeal in Lebanon. All of us had a lot of problems when we came home. One of them went into a mental hospital and never got out before he died. I know one that looked at his family and said, I don't like you anymore, and went up in the mountains, became a hermit until he died of cancer. We were all damaged in a lot of different ways. And my problem was I sounded good, and I convinced myself and everybody else that I wasn't damaged. I've been married three times and divorced three times. But, you know, you asked me if I'd changed. I'll tell you, my answer to that is, I don't know, ask my ex-wives. Am I a jerk because I'm a jerk or because I was a hostage? I can't tell anymore. Beach Bobby was great and I was very happy to get out, but this is my homecoming. This is where my people are. That was a great celebration when I came home. We were having a bad time in America and I kind of symbolize something good. I believed in what I was doing, and I still do. When I started teaching, I didn't have any idea what I was doing. I thought, I know this stuff. I'll teach them and they'll listen. That's not the way it works. The more you listen, the better teacher you are. And I always tell my students, if you don't feel a passion for it, if you don't think it's something you really have to do, don't. Every year, dozens of journalists forced to leave their homes under threat of imprisonment, torture, violence, even death. This is the most dangerous period for journalists we've ever had. A lot of foreign journalism is being done by what used to be called freelancers, independent journalists. They don't have much support. My daughter is one of those independent journalists. It's dangerous. It's also important. Being involved with the Committee to Protect Journalists, that's one of the most important things that I do, I think, because I'm so passionate about journalism. Come on, Army. Let's go. One of my friends, who had a strange sense of humor, said when I came home, how does it feel to know that when you die, no matter when that is, and no matter what else you've done, your obituary will read Terry Anderson, former hostage. I've come to the point where that seven years is important to me, but it's a part of my life. It's not who I am. Hey, sweetie.